those rocket bottles are actually lit off, lit off the On the runway the from the right, Fat Albert is rolling. They'll accelerate to 140 miles per hour. Simultaneously fire the Jato bottles and execute a high performance climb with the aircraft in a 45 degree nose up attitude. This is a very steep climb. Just as, he's, just as he gets ready to rotate, you'll see him light off the bottles. The loadmaster actually fires the charge. So here we go. Chicago, Illinois. The listed air crew for today's Jato demonstration are flight engineer Barry Densmer from Anvil, Pennsylvania. Flight mechanic Jim Trachner from Cedarbrook, New Jersey. Loadmaster Steve Cheatham from Rogers, Arkansas. And our Jato safety observers are Jeremy Ortiz from Ark City, Kansas. And Steve Gifford from Coleman, Alabama. The C-130 is capable of carrying 40,000 pounds of payload at a top speed of 350 miles per hour at altitudes as high as 27,000 feet. It's actually not optimum for doing that because it takes this is not a particularly fast airplane. It takes a long time to get there. The Thunderbirds don't have their own transport airplane. What they do is they have like a C-141 or a C-17 regular Air Force come and pick their stuff up. From the left, Major Esbridge is positioning Fat Albert for a low altitude high speed pass. At 350 miles per hour, the Fat Albert flat pass. In the course of a complete show season, Fat Albert will fly more than 140,000 miles, carrying a normal show load of 42,000 pounds of fuel, 25,000 pounds of sophisticated equipment, and a specialized maintenance and support team of 40 personnel. currently operate aerial refueling versions of the C-130. The KC-130 is capable of providing tactical in-flight refueling to fixed-wing and helicopter aircraft. Additionally, Marine KC-130s are used extensively in support of Marine Expeditionary Units throughout the world. They have most recently been employed in operations in North Africa, Desert Storm, Eastern Europe, Afghanistan, and Iraq. This is an assault landing. Gear down from a fairly high altitude, you'll see them pull the power back and point it free pretty steeply down, flare at the last minute. Here he comes. High into the right. Major Asbridge has established Fat Albert on a very steep approach angle to simulate landing in mountainous terrain or a hostile environment. Demonstrating the short field landing capability of the C-130, they will touch down and immediately reposition the propellers to full aft, stopping the aircraft in just 1,500 feet. You will notice that not only can the aircraft stop quickly, but it can actually taxi backwards.
Ladies and gentlemen, with the Stars and Stripes flying proudly above the cockpit, the Blue Angel C-130.